All right, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about firmware, and I'm going to walk you through the process of how to flash the most current version of the firmware for your R9M and your R9 series of receivers. Stay tuned, check it out. Alright, firmware. What is firmware? Firmware is what tells this how to talk to this and how this talks to the radio and vice versa and all that stuff. And it's all programming. Real boring. Uh, I'm going to talk about your receiver first because this is the, the one piece that you're going to have to actually do a little bit of work uh, to get a firmware flash on it. So, uh, what I've done here is the the plug that goes in the top here, so this is the one with the, uh, the voltage in, S port, S bus in, S bus out, uh, that one. Take that connector and we're going to need power, ground, and your S port wires. Because that's how we're going to flash the firmware from our radio to this. And I just ran that to a a standard uh, servo connector. Uh, nothing really special. Now the next part of the equation is the radio because the radio is how we're going to get the firmware from the interwebs to our little receiver here. And the interface between this and the receiver is on the back of the radio here. If you can see this, inside your JR module bay you have five pins and if you look at them from the very bottom, the bottom one is, connects to your S port. The next one up is your ground, and the third one up is your power. You're going to take your servo plug, plug it in properly. So, S port, ground, power from the bottom up, and those should correlate with your inputs on your receiver. These are sensitive to polarity. You hook it up backwards, say you hook uh, your power and ground backwards, guess what? This guy will die. These are not, uh, these, these are sensitive to polarity. So be very careful, make sure you do this right. So remember, from the bottom to the top, S port's on the bottom, second one up's ground, one up from that is your power, just like so. And it's probably a good idea to take a Sharpie or something and just, just write that pattern in there, that way you don't forget it later on. Now if you're going to flash your receiver with the QX7, it's a little different. You don't use the pins on your JR module bay back here, but instead the QX7 has a little door on the bottom where you hook up your USB port. That is where your S port pins are. And you got to make sure you hook those up properly as well. I'll flash a little graphic of the order up here. Okay, we're at the computer. We gotta go and get the firmware. So open up a internet browser. Go to FR Sky's website. Select download and find your module. So we're doing the R9M. Go down to firmware, and now you gotta select your version. I typically select the newest version as long as it applies. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna pick an FCC firmware. Uh, this one is not, this is the EU version, so I don't want this version. Uh, so this one, the uh, 180329 version of firmware. So click download. Now let's go back and look for our receiver. And I'm going to do the R9 Slim. And firmware. Again, I don't want the EU uh, LBT version. I want the FCC version. So download that. And we'll wait for this to download. All right. So now we go to wherever our firmware ended up. 
we're going to need to uncompress these. So there's the one for the R9M. And there's for our module. All right, now that we got our Firmware downloaded and extracted. Turn your receiver on. Welcome to OpenTX. And connect the H the uh, USB cable. And uh, you're gonna get a menu that says USB joystick or USB storage. Select USB storage. And it'll connect to your computer like it's a SD card. Contents from your Tyrannus. And uh, go to your firmware folder. If you have one, if not, make one or make whatever folder you want. And take your two extracted firmwares and go ahead and copy them in there. All right, once that's copied, we can close up out of all that and disconnect your receiver. All right, now that we have our firmware written to the SD card in our receiver, uh, you can either do it with the USB cable to your computer or you can just pull the card out sticking computer. Either way, we got to get that firmware into here because this is what's going to write the firmware to this. Next thing we got to do is install our transmitter module and then turn our Tyrannus on. Welcome to OpenTX. All right. So now that receiver's on, hold down the menu button. And then we get into the menu here, hit page, we get to the SD card contents, and scroll down till you get to firmware. And in that folder, you'll see the firmware that we wrote. So we're going to write the firmware to the R9M module, select that folder, and then the folder within that. And then the file you're looking for has the FRK at the end of it. Hold down the enter button and select flash external device. And then we wait. Okay, firmware's finished writing to our transmitter module. Now we have to flash the receiver. Exit out of all this, turn your transmitter off. Remove your module and connect your R9 Slim or whatever receiver you're trying to flash to your S port pins on the back of your radio or under your radio at the bottom if you're using the QX7. And I'll put that someplace so you can see it. All right. Turn your transmitter on. Welcome to OpenTX. Hold on the menu button and the same process. Go down firmware, find the firmware you're looking for. So R9 Slim. And hold down enter on the firmware and select flash to external device. You see our, rece our receiver turns on. and it begins writing the firmware to it. And that's it. Updated firmware on transmitter, updated firmware on the receiver, and we're ready to connect the two. All right, now for the last part, we're gonna set up a model that uses the R9M transmitter. Turn our receiver on. All right. So I'm going to scroll down here and just make a new model. Create model. All right. So we've got our blank model. Page over. You can enter your name in for what for your model. All right, whatever, R9, we're just gonna call it that. And now 
we'll just scroll to the bottom. Scroll down to where it says external RF. And for mode, we select mode. And we find the R9M. And here, if you're using LBT or FCC, you'd select it there. Okay, the next thing we have to do is bind our transmitter to our receiver. Uh, I have my receiver connected to a external five volt power supply. You can do it however you want. Uh, you can do it once it's in your model connected to the uh, power supply in your model, whatever you want to do. But here's the binding process. The other thing I forgot to mention is for your internal RF, you need to select that to be off. If it's on anything else, you need to go to off for internal RF. So if your external RF module Come down here to bind, select bind. Uh, I'm gonna do one through eight telemetry on. You're gonna get the chirps. And on the receiver, going to hold down the bind button while powering it on. All right. So now we remove our power. Exit out of the bind, and we'll turn it back on. And there we go, good to go. And then select module telemetry. And if we hit discover new sensors, we can see we're receiving telemetry. And then also if we remove power from the receiver, we see these values drop off and we get our warning. So that's it. The quick and dirty and the simple of how to flash the firmware to your transmitter, your receiver, create a model, bind it, and set up the telemetry. This, this uh, firmware process is basically the same for all FR Sky receivers, at least the ones that we use in the mini quad community. So if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. In my next video, I'm going to install this receiver in one of my mini quads and set it up in Betaflight. So follow along on that one. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.